Well, for years now, we've been told stop eating so much Pacific bluefin tuna. It's disappearing from the ocean. Tonight, Alan Martin shows us what some Bay Area scientists are doing to change all that. In the San Francisco Bay Area, no matter how you slice it, we're wild about raw fish. For sushi and sashimi lovers, the most prized and pricey cut is the tender red belly of the Pacific bluefin tuna. But a problem, we love this fish so much, we're eating it into extinction. There is no way that we can continue and hunt, you know, tuna for sushi and sashimi in our oceans. This practice has to stop. Now some scientists are fishing for a solution. Do we want tunas in our seas or do we want tuna in our market? I believe that it's possible to have both. Stanford professor Barbara Block pioneered the tagging and tracking of bluefin tuna in the wild. It unlocked the mysteries of where these fish feed and breed. Before us, mankind really didn't know where tunas went. We've seen tunas go back and forth across the Pacific in as little as a few months. She hopes to take the pressure off wild tuna by getting one to spawn in captivity. We have the science on the table that within 10 years, we'll be producing a lot of the tuna we see in markets from aquaculture. At her lab at Hopkins Marine Station in Pacific Grove, Block's team and the Monterey Bay Aquarium are studying tuna in huge round tanks. The warm-blooded fish are fast, sleek, and powerful, jumping out of the water to snatch food at feeding time. The group is learning more about when these fish mature and, since it's not obvious, how to tell a male from a female. You may not have the right mix. Other nations, such as Mexico, are ranching tuna by capturing young bluefin and then keeping them in ocean pens until they're big enough to sell. But to fatten them up, they're fed a massive amount of wild sardines, and that puts pressure on sardines. Block's group wants to develop a more sustainable food source. So that a tuna bought at Whole Foods or Safeway is a tuna that's been grown through practices that we can all be happy about. Alan Martin, KPIX5. Well, the oceanwide population of bluefin has plunged to just 4%. The United States, Mexico, and Japan have all agreed now to drastically reduce their fishing quotas.